Yo, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel here once again. Bringing you know what, another action figure review on the DC Multiverse Batman The Dark Knight Returns Son of Batman. And this is definitely not to be confused. This is not Batman's son. Uh, it should be a plural Sons of Batman because, uh, you know, there's just pretty much a whole gang of these guys. So, uh, yeah, I mean, when I... <laughs> I didn't really have anything to reference it off of when I first got it because I hadn't already watched or read the comics. So, when I first got it, too, I was like, Batman's son? Okay, that's cool. I'll take him, even though he looks dumb, but... Because uh, <laughs> he does... He, he, it's not that impressive looking, but, um... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get him out of the package, though, and get a better look at him. Uh, this is from the, uh, 30th anniversary of Batman. Which is crazy, because... I don't quite understand... Uh... The last wave that came out from DC Multiverse... I believe it was 80 years of Batman. Right? That's 2019. Okay, this is 2015, and it's 30th anniversary of Batman. I don't get that. Unless it's referencing the 30th anniversary of Batman The Dark Knight Returns, which, okay, that's a little more specific. So yeah, that makes sense. I was going to say, like, uh... <laughs> How did so many more years get added on in just a matter of what? Yeah. Five, four or five years? It's crazy. Alright. Looks like we're ready to go on that. Sun... I guess that's why they can't say Sons of Batman, because there's not more than one in there. I don't know. But just, yeah. It should be plural, Sons of Batman. on there or a rubber band or what but yeah it's supposed to be on there so his accessories he's got a torch and he's got a rifle or better yet it's a double barrel shotgun Smells like brand new plastic. Very narrow waist on this guy. Let's get them all accessorized here, huh? Got the torch. Got the gun. Wow, good mobility with the head there, man. This figure would almost make a great custom for a Lex Luthor, man. Really, real easy repaint on that, too. I always hated these T-joints in the legs that Mattel did. I'm glad they finally did away with them, but then it's like, okay, we made some good action figures, but see you later. Uh, McFarlane's taken over. <laughs> Whatever. So there he is. That was a package. I, I mean, he's okay. To say the least. And that's about all I can do is say the least about it. Because it's otherwise it's not a spectacular figure. 
Yeah. Uh, but yet yeah, it's just it's another face in the crowd. So for that I'll take it. And you just that's another thing that bugged me about him back in the day is that just there's no range of motion like you know. I kind of would like to see a double jointed elbow on here so I can kind of rest that barrel on his shoulder, but no, I can't do that. Uh, yeah. Of course, there's wrist swivel, but no hinge. Uh, single jointed knees. The works. <laughs> you know, as far as being just crappy and outdated articulation, it's got the works on it, man. You know, no no ankle pivot, just up and down hinge. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. This was working for him for so long, I just ran with it. But then they're, I guess they started realizing that it just wasn't up to par with, especially it wasn't even, it wasn't even really has where they're competing with the Marvel Legends. It was more, I guess, like the DC Essentials and uh, um, DC, uh, what was it? Oh, hell. You see collectibles and stuff like that. So, yeah. But for low-budget Mattel, this was working for them for a while. But then, you know, people were expecting more. People were wanting more. They weren't giving it to us, so people were stopped buying them, I guess. Why buy these when you can pay, you know, same price or just a little bit more for something of better quality? get it yeah the Tim and I just <laughs> I'm only talking just to try to get more than just five minutes out of this video but there's just not much to say about this guy you know he's just way too plain and just you know he's a, he's a, he doesn't have even have a specific name or character he's just a face in a in a crowd of many like him so there's just not much to go by here. I mean, I guess in my own little world I create, in my collection, I guess I can kind of, you know, make him his own character. So he's, give him a, a, a bio or something, you know, in my own little pretend world. But yeah, other than that, blah, there's not much to go on. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, man. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and check me out on YouTube, Master Marvel 80, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.